I'm gonna teach you how to download and install Visual 5 for GTA 5. Make sure to watch the video until the end because we might cover some issues that you might face while installing Visual 5. Let's get started. Okay, so to download and install Visual 5, we're going to click the second link in the description, which will bring you to our Visual 5 guide. And here you can look at how to download and install Visual 5. And if you already have open IV in your computer, you can go ahead and download Visual 5 and follow throughout this guide because you will need open IV to install Visual 5. I'm assuming, however, most of you don't have open IV and you want to install Visual 5 from scratch. If you already have open IV, go ahead and follow this guide. If not, just follow along this video, okay? I hope it's not too confusing. The first thing we're gonna do is download Visual 5. Go ahead and click on the download button right here. That says download. You can read through the guide and look at the photos. And just click on download. That will redirect you over here where we're going to click download again. And now in here, we're going to click download one more time. That will start the download automatically. In my case, it asked me where to save it, but for you, it's going to download automatically. Once your download has completed, go ahead and drag and drop it into your desktop. And you should have a zip file that looks just like this. This is what a zip file looks like or a seven zip file. Like I said, if you already have OpenIV, you could skip this next part of the video, but I'm assuming most of you don't. So what we're going to do now is download and install OpenIV. Now you could read through the guide again by clicking the third link in the description, or you could just follow along. You click the third link in the description, will bring you to our guide. Scroll down and click where it says download. That will redirect you over here where you're going to click download 4.1 right on the top right here. That will start the download automatically. Again, in my case, it's asking me where to save it, but for you, it will download automatically and you should get this obsetup.exe file. Go ahead and drag and drop that into your desktop. And now we pretty much have everything we need. I already had the ob setup in here, but I'm gonna go ahead and delete it. Now we pretty much have everything we need. And the first thing we're gonna do is install the ob setup. We're gonna go ahead and install open IV. To do so, all you have to do is double click it. Go ahead and double click it. It will give you this little installation menu here. Click continue to use it in English. Like I said, you could always read our guide. Click on accept the terms, continue. In here, you can leave everything as default. Click continue again and click yes for the download size and just wait for OpenIV to install. It shouldn't be that hard. It's pretty much clicking continue a bunch of times. And if you get lost at any point, you could go back to our guide. Click close in here. And now we have OpenIV, okay? Now we have it set up. We could even get rid of the installer. The next thing we wanna do is extract the content of this folder that we just downloaded. I'm gonna use WinRAR. If you don't have WinRAR, we have videos and guides. I'm gonna leave a guide in the description on how to install WinRAR. It's super simple. Windows, either Windows 10 or 11, usually they have a software already pre-installed by default that will let you extract the files. We're gonna extract the file to a folder and the folder, it's called the same as the zip file. And we're gonna go ahead and delete that zip file. Okay, the next thing we're gonna do is launch OpenIV by double clicking it. When we double click on OpenIV, we'll get multiple games in here. Obviously we're doing this for GTA 5. So we're going to select GTA 5 Windows. That will open this in here. And this will have you choose the location of your game. I install my game through Epic Games. So what I'm gonna do is launch Epic Games to find the location of my game. If you install GTA 5, through the Rockstar Launcher, or if you install GTA 5 through Steam. Don't worry because I'm gonna teach you how to find it. So we're gonna go to our library here. We already have the game selected. We're gonna click on this little three dots. If you're using Epic Games, we're gonna go over to manage. We're gonna click on this little folder right here. And we're going to copy this thing on the top, this little address bar in here. We're gonna select it all and copy it. And we're gonna go back into OpenIV and we're gonna click on browse and we're gonna paste that on the top. I already had it selected. I used to go ahead and paste it in there, Control V, and then click Select Folder down here, and that will find the GTA 5.exe file. However, if you have the Rockstar Launcher, you might have installed GTA on a default folder. If you go here to our guide, to our OpenIV guide in the description, and you scroll down to the step number three, go to the step number three and scroll a little bit down, you will find the default location for Rockstar, Steam, and Epic Games. That's if you use a default location. If you use a different location, well, I assume that you will know which location you use. So I'm gonna leave that in the guide, and I'm also gonna go ahead and paste it in the description for you guys. Anyways, now that we have that in here in OpenIV, all we have to do is click continue, give it a second and click continue again. And now just wait for OpenIV to open. While OpenIV is opening, I wanna talk to you real quick about SAP hosting. If you're trying to make a GTA server, if you're trying to do a GTA 5 server, specifically in this case, a 5M server, I'm gonna leave this link in the description. It's going to be the first link for you guys to go ahead and make your server with SAP hosting. That way you'll be helping out the channel because this is an affiliate link and there's no extra cost for you. And you can go ahead and launch that server that you've been waiting for and help out the channel. Anyways, let's check on OpenIV. And as we can see, 
it has finished installing, it has finished opening up. What we're gonna do next is that we're gonna click this little check mark in here, this little icon in here, and that will open these multiple options in here, which will say install for you. As you can see, mine's already installed. That's because I already installed this in the past. Obviously, I'm doing this all over for the video. But for you, it's just gonna say install. All you have to do is click on them and it will install super quick, okay? You just click install, install, install. It will install and then you can close out from here. Next, we're gonna allow the edit mode by clicking edit mode. Just gonna go ahead and click in there. And we're going to click yes to allow OpenIV to make changes. What we're gonna do next, it's that we're gonna launch the visual V folder. Go ahead and open that folder. We're gonna put it to the side of the screen and then we're gonna put the OpenIV to the other side. We're gonna put this on one side and this folder on the other side. I'm gonna make everything bigger so you guys could follow along easier, right? What we're gonna do next is that we're gonna head over to OpenIV and we're gonna click next to the icon that we clicked earlier. This icon right here is a package installer. So we're gonna go ahead and double click it. And that is gonna launch us over here where we're gonna head over to the folder that we downloaded. My folder Folder is in my desktop just go ahead and find yours wherever it is and once you're in here go ahead and click where it says installation via mod package and click on visual v and then click open and that will start the installation for visual v on the right side on the open iv go ahead and click on install click mods select the top option in here click install to confirm the installation and just wait for visual 5 to install pretty much it's that simple and this is the way of installing Visual V. However, you're not adding all the options that you could add with Visual V just by installing it. I'm gonna show you how to do that in a second. Go ahead and click on close once you install Visual V. And what you're gonna do next is head over to this optionals folder and we're going to add a couple optional stuff in here. First, you wanna head over to advanced motion blur and in here you wanna drag and drop the bottom two files, the advanced blur and the other one too. They're named the same thing. Just go ahead and drag and drop it into here, anywhere in here, just go ahead and throw it. Now I'll go back to optionals, go to dynamic shadows. In here, you're gonna drag and drop again, the two files in here. And just like I said before, you could always find all these steps in our guide in the description. Now head over to earth atmosphere. And as you can see in here, you have an OIV file. So that one we do have to install using the package installer. Go ahead and click on the package installer again. Go into the optionals folder in here, head over to the earth folder and then click on the earth atmosphere, click open. And again, same steps as before. We're gonna click install. We're gonna select mods, click install again, and just wait for this package to install. Let's just give it a second in here. It shouldn't take that long. It should never take that long. And then once it installs, click close and select atmosphere, the two files on top, and go ahead and drag and drop them again into this OpenIV interface in here. Go back into optionals, head over to EMB settings. And in here, we're going to select everything and we're gonna drag and drop it over here. Just select everything, go ahead and drag and drop it in there. You probably skip the installation files, but it doesn't matter. Just go ahead and drag and drop it all in there. Head over to Procedure Shadows right here, the fourth folder in here. And as you can see, this one is an OIV. So again, we're gonna go back to the package installer. We're gonna head over to the Shadows folder and we're going to select it, click open, and we're going to install it the same way. Click on Install, Mods, install again and just wait for the procedural to install it shouldn't take that long same process as before and if you get lost at any moment of this tutorial you could always refer to our guide in the description let's go ahead and click close and go back to optionals we're going to head over to remove grass and again this is an oiv file we go to the package installer you already know we go back into the remove grass folder select the grass file click open same process in here click install click mods install and just wait for the grass improvement to install. Now we're gonna, while this is installing, we're gonna head back to the optionals folder and we're gonna look at the last one. Oh, there we go, it finished. We're gonna click close. We're gonna look at the last folder, which is the reshape preset. And in here, this preset might cause a performance loss. However, I'm still gonna add it. Go ahead and select everything here, every file in here and drag and drop it over here. And there we go. You're pretty much set to run Visual 5. In order to run Visual 5, all you have to do is launch your GTA 5 games now. You could close the open IV and you could just launch your GTA 5 game. I'm gonna go ahead and launch mine and I'll see you inside the game. Now guys, before we continue with this guide and launch GTA 5, I wanna let you know that if you're having any issues launching the game after you added Visual 5, all you might have to do is just head over to your games installation Find GTA 5.exe, right click on it, click on properties, head over to compatibility and select this option right here and change Windows 8 to Windows 7. Click apply, click OK. Do the same thing to play GTA 5.exe, go to properties, compatibility, run this program and select Windows 7, click apply, click OK. And that might fix a lot of issues that you might have launching the game after adding Visual 5. Let's keep going. And our game has opened. And as you can see, if I press home, I have reshading here. And you now have Visual 5 installing your game. I'm going to go ahead and launch the story mode. 
I recommend that you always play this offline or in single player because, because you could face issues if you try to use all of this online unless you have your own server, which you can make one using the first link in the description with SAP hosting. And as we can see, our game already has some visual improvement. I hope this video helped you out. Subscribe to the channel if you want to see more GTA 5 tutorials or any other game because really, we do everything in here. I hope you enjoyed this video and as always, bye bye.